Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Remember how I used to rave about ChatGPT being my travel agent? Well, ChatGPT has been fired. You are fired. So let's dive into a side-by-side -side comparison and see exactly why Gemini is the ultimate AI travel companion. Buckle up, because we're about to explore the future of travel planning. Now, if you want to follow along, you can open a browser for ChatGPT. It is chat.openai.com. And for Gemini, it is gemini.google.com. And you should probably sign in with your Google account if you have one. Not only does Gemini integrate seamlessly with Google, but it also provides far more comprehensive and helpful answers. So let's dive into a side-by-side -side comparison of the two and see exactly why Gemini is the ultimate AI travel companion. We'll be planning a trip to Scandinavia and have some questions. We'll ask ChatGPT first. I would like to travel to Scandinavia for three to four weeks. We would like to visit as a minimum Copenhagen, Stockholm, Oslo, and Bergen. When would be the best time to travel? Well, I get very short pros and cons for each of the seasons and then finally recommend summer. Now let's compare Gemini's answer with the same question. Well, here the answer is about the same discussing the pros and cons of summer, but below that is a picture. And it looks like each of the pictures has a web address of some sort attached to it. If I click on winter, it takes me to a web page that describes what to pack for winter travel. Then it goes one step further and provides information for each of the cities in the itinerary along with web links. Then it finishes up with a summary like that in ChatGPT, but there are numerous web links in the answer which gives me the opportunity to explore more details for each of the seasons and destinations. So it looks like to me, Gemini wins this one, but heck, who's keeping score? So we tell ChatGPT that we would like to go in September, leave on September 1st, and return September 30th. What would be a good itinerary? Well, it seems to do fairly well, and gives us several days in each of the cities we asked about, tells us how to get there, and some things to do when we're there. It doesn't specify a city for the last five days, but gives us some flexible options. Let's look at Gemini. It offers a week in Copenhagen, but only three days in the city itself, and then suggests day trips out of the city. Week two has just three days in Stockholm, and you stay in the city and take day trips. And of course, we have the links to get more information about any of the pictures that are in the answers. Here we can get more information about the Royal Palace in Stockholm. You may notice the little dots at the bottom of this link, which means you can swipe for more web pages. The other information is similar, and it finishes with a free week four for you to explore other options. Once again, it looks like Gemini is the winner. Now we ask about a round-trip flight from Chicago to Copenhagen in premium economy. It essentially repeats our itinerary and then says, go check some websites for more information about flights. Gemini actually lists flights for two in premium economy and lists the prices. And it gives me a very nice table with all the flight options. And if I click on the Scandinavian Airlines flight, it takes me to a page where I can choose my returning flight. Once that is done, I'm taken directly to the SAS website where I can book the flights. Again, it looks like this round goes to Gemini. The flight is solved, so we need a quaint place to stay in the center of town with an elevator, under 150 euros, and breakfast. Well, I get a single hotel with some information, but no way to book it. On Gemini's side, it tells me there aren't any quaint hotels for me, which I found amusing. Well, since this is a conversation, it asks me if I'd be open to some other ideas, and I simply say yes to all. Well then, it lists three hotels with prices and ratings and information about breakfast. I'm not too sure about the hostel. Well, that's not all. It integrates with Google Hotels. Now I'm presented with pictures, multiple pictures of the hotels, and a chance to click on one of them and go directly to the Google Hotels website. 
it pre-fills the dates for me and the number of people and gives me prices. Well, another point for Gemini. Now that we have our hotel, we are interested in what we can do in Copenhagen while we're there, and we're very specific about our interests. Art, architecture, music, local culture, and history. We do get some things that are tailored to our specific interest and outlined by day, morning, afternoon, and evening. Gemini gives similar but much more complete results and takes into account the fact that we may be jet-lagged when we arrive. Like ChatGPT, each of the days has suggestions for morning, afternoon, and evening, but it provides links to other information about these places, such as where to eat in Tivoli Gardens and more information about the Opera House. Finally, it concludes with some more information about the city, such as a travel card, walking tours, and much more. This looks like another point for Gemini. I've heard of the Little Mermaid statue in Copenhagen, and I wonder if it's worthwhile to go see it. Well, I get some basic information. Gemini gives me a similar answer, so I would give one point to each. We decide we want to see the Little Mermaid, so we ask for directions from the Anderson Hotel. It gives me time frames for walking, some basic instructions for public transportation, bicycle rental, and taxi service. Gemini, on the other hand, gives me directions by car, but suggests I should take public transportation. Then it shows me the route on Google Maps, which I can click on, and it takes me to the familiar turn-by-turn -turn directions from Google Maps. Another point for Gemini. We travel with your rail passes and like to take day trips that are within an hour and have no change of trains, so let's ask. It gives me four choices with where to travel from, how long it takes, and a bit of description about each of the places. Gemini gives me similar information, but again, this time it still has web links. Gemini then goes one step further and offers a little bit longer day trip, one hour and 15 minutes. Well, it looks like Gemini wins this one too. Well, this concludes our little comparison and it looks like we have a winner. It is Gemini. Yeah! Stay tuned and I will do some more in-depth tutorials on how to use Gemini for travel planning. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss this tutorial. And I really appreciate you watching. Thanks.